Hello everybody. I would like to, today to conduct some tests to visualize the longitudinal wave propagation. I will apply a couple of tests to the system. will also give an analogy about how you can picture longitudinal waves. And they are very suitable. They can be very, very easily um, understood. And looking from a logical point of view, you can actually follow up everything what I will display here. So the first test, just to give you a brief um, explanation about um, the setup. So this tube is only connected on one side, on the right hand side. There is no connection on the left hand side. So the first thing we do, if we assume it's a pressure wave, um, just picture a water hose and you you open the tap and water flows through the system you have pressure so every so every pressure in the system will be undergoing a kind of turbulence and turbulence will will cause to a vortex and vortex will cause rotation so here we have a gas so the gas is under pressure through the excitation of the bipolar tesla coil and what you can see here on the left hand side that's where the stream hits and you see a rotating plasma field. So this, this rotation is aligned to the coil arrangement of windings and it follows the same kind of rules if you want. I will new, use now um, a permanent magnet, a ferret magnet and will influence these fields so most of you know that the magnet has a magnetic field and it's closed up on, each, uh, on itself from north to south and most of uh, well let's say the majority of people think a magnet has it, it has no fluctuation in the field there is no rotation it's just permanent there that's actually not the case there are videos existing showing that um, there is a rotation and so you can show that very very easily here in in the plasma and I will demonstrate that by influencing here the rotation of um, the counter electrode plasma field with a magnet. So here I'm using a standard ferret magnet, not using such a strong one because the field is quite sensitive so this one is good enough. So let's see what happens if I move it. Okay, let's go close. You cannot see it really. Let me move it, zoom out a bit. So here you can see my hand and the rotation. So that is now at the moment clockwise, if you can see that. Now let's turn the polarity around. That should be counterclockwise. Yeah. Let me go if I have it in the right position. It speeds up so fast. Now that is clockwise. Now I have it. That's kind of difficult. Now here you go. That's counterclockwise. Turn it around and clockwise. So the closer it gets, the faster I speed it up. As you can see. So that's clockwise. Turn it around again. Counterclockwise. By the way, my hand has no influence at all unless I go very close. So imagine that's a hose and you press the pipe with your hands like that then you influence of course the stream of the water that's what I'm doing here I influence the stream of the water here by pressing here but outside if the water is let's say the pressure is coming out I have no influence here nothing is happening here unless I get close enough so that I have a feedback to the system now using two magnets and see if I have an influence on the other side actually here on that side I have not really any influence of course I can influence here from a button from a button 
because that's causing again a pressure and here you can see that it's rotating counterclockwise let's turn it around no it's not, not that happy I'm actually pulling out, as you can see that I'm pulling out a field pull it over here let's take two magnets now see how nice it is I can I can pull the f complete field out here that's very good to see now so that is literally plasma manipulation via magnetic fields Let's turn, the, let's turn it around. I f feel on a magnet a pressure. Like there is some. Like there is a re reaction, like a. Um, like a magnetic part or iron or whatever. It, f if, if it feels like, like it's moved around it. But that's nice to see here. Do a little different test. I mean, uh, <clears throat> maybe some of you have seen it already. This field is actually creating a vortex and this vortex is also creating an attraction from well I have to assume here from um, a richer energy field or electron field or, or let's say a field um, which can be contributed so it's attracting actually um, objects here in that example um, a piece of aluminium foil to the stream so I hold it quite closely here. So hopefully you can see that. So if I bring that here in touch, that becomes more visible when I keep it in my hand. But I do it at the moment like that. See clues, kind of. I can put it away. Any clues? It glues a little bit on. Field. So we'll do that then later on with my hand. See if you can see it here. Now let's see the energy propagation side. See that? Let's have a look. So if I keep it in my hand, it's pushing actually. So if it's here on on a piece of stick, it's not. It's it's attracting a bit. And it's parking quite quite a lot. Okay, now let's put it in my hand. So I have it now in my hand. And let's see if you can see that. Well, if I put it here, it's quite a strong attraction. If I do it by my hand, and I think you can see it quite well. It's attracted quite well. I will not attempt the other test at the end, to be honest. Let's do it on the other, on, on the other side. Let's see if you can see that here. Can pull it quite up, quite a lot. It sticks, it sticks to it. Here. 
I want to go too close. I feel a bit of a pressure. It's pushing it away. A bit close. I want to go too, too close. I do it here on this side. Now you can see that nicely here. It's really sticky. Okay. That concludes my video about longitudinal waves visualized via a plasma field. Thank you.